In the name of the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Our beloved church teaches us together in the Holy 50 Days. We read all the readings of Sunday from the Gospel of Mark, from the Gospel of John. And the Gospel of John, we call it the Passion Gospel, the Gospel of Love. Why do we call it the Gospel of Love? For many reasons. In the Gospel of John, our Lord Jesus Christ referred to God, to, to, to the Father as Father, or taught us to refer to God as Father more than any other Gospel, 101 times, just in one Gospel. And not only this, it's the only Gospel that does not have the passion or the, the, the prayer of institution, because the whole Gospel is an act of passion, an act of a last supper toward all of us. Now, the Kedah today, our Lord Jesus Christ is answering a question that we all ask. Philip asked God and told him, What? Show us the Father, and that's sufficient for us. And that's a question we all ask God, I want to see you just like I see my friend, just like I see my sister, just like I see the people on the streets. I want to see you physically. And our Lord Jesus Christ, even though the answer, the question is a good question, and it's a logical question, our Lord Jesus Christ did not like the question. Why? Because Jesus wants us to open our mind that this world, there is only two, two things that we can see in front of our own eyes, either things from God or things not from God. And we can see God in everything around of us even in our thoughts. One of the fathers told me something so beautiful. He told me, every thought that is edifying is from God. And every thought that is destructive is not from God. One of the things that surprises me a lot is that the people of Israel did not believe in Jesus when he performed many miracles, they all denied him. Only when he was hung on the cross, they start beating on their chest and they said, maybe this was the Son of God. The thing that makes Jesus so clear, the thing that makes Jesus so clear is the act of our Lord Jesus Christ matches with the deepest desire of our hearts, the purest desire of our hearts. You can go to somebody and get an advice from him, and he might give you an advice that sounds really good, and logically you like it. But inside, it's not, still not pure. When you hear the voice of God, it becomes what a pure voice that matches with our inner being. That's why our Lord Jesus Christ said today, I am the truth. What is the truth? The truth, it means that when I take the word of God and put it inside my conscience, the pure conscience, it will fit perfectly. It will match perfectly. Today, and you know, I don't want to take a lot, of, a lot of the time from the prayer, but today, you know, I think it is so beautiful that the Holy 50 Days we are reading from a gospel of love. Because in reality, the voice of love is the voice of truth. And in it, in it, we find our rest and our comfort. I was just gonna praying Psalm 4 from, from, the, from, the, from, the gospel, from the Bible. And David was, was asking the same question, David the prophet. He said, many people said, who will show us goodness? Many people will say, how, when would God show his face upon us? But he said that, I know that God has showed his face upon me because he has stamped my heart with a joy that is greater than all the joys that anybody else receives in the world. Today, as we stand in the liturgy, we want to offer our first fruit to the gospel of passion. Telling God, God, today 
We have, we have desired to see you. But you have been around all along. And you have been talking to us all along. And in every thought, you have been trying to speak to me. Today, as we stand in prayer, tell him, God, we want to have life with you. Life with you, we want to grow with you. We want to become like Second Corinthians today. He's saying that in chapter uh, 13, he's saying, uh, saying that we look, at, we look at the image of God, and as we look at him, we start growing from glory to glory until we become that same image that we're looking at. And today, Kida, we want to try to tell God, we want to, Kida, go from glory of love to glory of love. From glory of humility to glory of humility. We want to, Kida, be like you. Have that passion and always, Kida, reflect your image and listen to your voice within us and glory be to God.